So you're looking to live in Idaho Falls? Well, I don't blame you. It's a great place to live. Except there's some things you gotta know about. And today I'm gonna talk to you about the pros and cons of living in Idaho Falls. <music> Alright, so if this is your first time here, I'm Sean Boswell. I'm a real estate agent out here in southeastern Idaho, and this is Living in Idaho Falls. Uh, please subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified. Uh, we try to release at least one video every week. Make sure you're in the know of Idaho Falls and what's happening in the market, as well as what to look for in the area before you move out here. And so, uh, get to know this area, get to know what it's about, and really give you an introduction as to why you should or should not move here. You know, really big pros and some of the biggest cons that I've I think almost every single person that's ever lived here figures out real quick within the first year <laughs> if not the first winter you know so one of the biggest pros of living in Idaho Falls is by far the cost of living uh -oh. so most people that's probably why you're drawn to it as well is it's way cheaper to live here than other places like California Nevada Arizona Washington Oregon um, in the West, Idaho is probably the cheapest. However, in the last few years, we've seen a big uptick in prices and almost maybe a 70% increase in the last three years, in the housing at least. Um, everything else due to inflation has increased, but according to payscale.com, we are about 41% cheaper than the rest of the United States to live in. Um, so what that means to you is more money in your pocket, especially if you're working remotely, like a lot of people are these days after COVID. Um, so one of the things, uh, you can think about when you're moving here is how much is it going to cost me for utilities? Um, how much are going to how much is it going to cost me for groceries? How much is fuel going to cost me comparatively? And I'll tell you those numbers right now. Uh, utilities are 17% less. Um, that's huge right there. Um, that's a good chunk of change back in your pocket. Um, gas prices, like you know, everyone's hot topic right now because of inflation, is 13% lower. And roughly on the groceries, it's about 16% lower. So some huge savings compared to other places. So I think that's what draws a lot of people to coming to Idaho. I think one of the next biggest things that uh, draws people to Idaho is really the outdoors. There are a lot of great places to go out here. Uh, right off the bat, you are about two hours away from Yellowstone from here. Um, so when you want to go travel up to those uh, steaming pools of color and to go see the buffalo and not ch be chased by one. Um, for sure, you're going to be able to go there every summer if you want to. Um, another pl close place is the Tetons. Um, those are really majestic from a distance. You know, you're getting up close, you can hike them. Um, there's a lot of things uh, just in general that are beautiful out the area. Um, we have lots of waterfalls, lots of hot springs. We have High Sea up here, which is a great place to go uh, to some hot pools. Um, if you want something more commercial or with pools in itself, something like a hot springs where you can go and dip yourself in, there's Goldbug, which is a great place and it's kind of a hush hush, don't tell everyone. But it's a wonderful place to go if you want to try something um, out in the wilderness and see what really Idaho is like. Um, some of the most beautiful falls that are easy to hike to right off the bat are the Falls Creek Falls. Um, those are right in Swan Valley and they're a beautiful place to walk up to. You can take the kids, it's very easy to access. It's right off the road really. Um, another place to go is Palisades. Palisades has tons of hiking. Um, there's some boating and everything. Just gorgeous, gorgeous places to go. You can take a hike for a day, camp out there, and just have a great, great time. I mean, there's just so much to do out here. Now, they're, uh, you know, looking at that situation, um, you know, there's just, it's hard to choose, I guess, because there's so many places to choose from. So that's one of the second biggest things I'd say. So probably the third biggest thing that draws people to Idaho Falls is really the fishing. Um, we have some of the world-class fishing out here um, for fly fishing and lake fishing. So if you were to drive up to Island Park, which is the biggest location for tourism when it comes to living in cabins and being uh, snowmobiling and uh, ATVing, um, in this side of Idaho, that's probably the biggest. And so 
We have uh, the Henry's Fork, which is a big fishing spot for brown trout, rainbow trout, uh, you name it. It's a, it's a really great place to go for there. And so it draws a lot of people over here. Um, the other part of it is you can do some lake fishing out in Henry's Lake. And just in general, there's a lot of lakes locally that you can just go and fish in, and it doesn't take a lot of effort to get there. Um, another big part of it is the Salmon River. Um, so when you talk about you know the salmon traveling all the way from the ocean through Washington and coming all the way over here to Idaho, well, they're taking the Salmon River and uh, when they come into Idaho. And so we get to see this uh, Chinook and the uh, Coho uh, salmon come through, and it's just they're just huge. I mean, you can get some big salmon. Now, you definitely have to have a fishing license to do so, and it's going to cost you a lot more if you're out of state. But if you are living here, it's a real good deal. All right, number four is going to be the jobs. Uh, out here, there are two large companies that tend to provide jobs to people, especially that they're moving out of state or wherever it might be, and that is the Idaho National Laboratories. They provide a lot of nuclear engineering jobs. They're a very stable company since they're government funded. And so a lot of people want to, want to look for a job. They go out there and they work there. Um, the two facilities that they have is one out in the desert where they do a lot of their design work. And then in-house they do a lot of research uh, over here in Idaho Falls. So there are two real big options here for you for that. Um, and then the other one is naturally the... Melaleuca. Melaleuca has a lot of products uh, that are health products of um, just in general are great products for your uh, home use whether it's laundry detergent, uh, deodorant, uh, as well as other you know, household goods that you need and uh, really that company has been around for a while they do really well at their products and they focus on quality over quantity so um, those are two of the big things that keep the economy very stable out here and people love the how stable it is out here and I think that's really a big thing that draws people here. So the fifth uh, pro of living in Idaho Falls is got to be the summers. Um, by far, we have some of the best summers around. I mean, when you're sitting here blistering in 100 degree, 115 degree weather in California or Arizona, you know, we are sitting here pretty in around the 80s. And so our summers are just fantastic. I and mean, we, we really don't get any heavy, hot, temperatures out here there's not a lot of humidity either and for that reason it's just comfortable during the summers you get lots of breezes um, the area doesn't is not prone to fires as much as other places like California because um, we do clean up a, a lot of our underbrush and take care of things but in general Idaho is probably one of the best areas to go if you want to just stay cool and enjoy your summers and so there's lots of things to do in the summertime naturally like, like I said before boating fishing hiking um, I know the creeks out here are pretty chilly, so there is a challenge there. But in general, Idaho is some of the, has some of the best summers you can find. So one of the biggest cons, and I think it's number one right here, is the weather in the winter. Uh, there are lots of cool things to do in the winter. Don't get me wrong, snowmobiling is awesome. Uh, ice fishing is awesome. But when it comes to coldness... Most people stay indoors most of the winter, and it's because it gets to the negative 10s, negative 20s, sometimes even the negative 40s um, for one day or two days out of the year, and it's not easy to live in that, you know? Um, being cold, is <laughs> you have to get used to it. When most people come out in the spring and it's, you know, warm in the 40s, like we think 40 is warm, and, uh, you know, naturally the humidity is lower out here, and so for that reason, it does feel... Uh, less cold than say something like Michigan where there's a lot of a lake effect But in general Idaho is cold so be prepared So probably the second biggest con of living in Idaho Falls is we're not close to anything Now we're a small town like I said before and for that reason we don't have a lot of big amenities When it comes to concert venues um, we have the Civic Center which is pretty great um, There's also you know they're building a new center here that's supposed to be bigger and allowed to have more bigger concerts and I believe it's called the Mountain America Convention Center but I'm not sure I think name pending but in general the area doesn't have a lot of places to go for big concerts you can't go and see Imagine Dragons or Coldplay or whatever you like um, or Brad Paisley um, now they do sometimes come in here to the local casino down in Fort Hall but in general you have to drive all the way down to Salt Lake City or fly out to Salt Lake City um, now there are some options there to get there um, instead of driving the three and a half hours to get there you can take the Salt Lake Express which is a very affordable way of going however at the same time you would have to 
drive down there if you want to do anything or go all the way out to Boise. Boise is the next big area and that's about four and a half hours, four hours depending on how fast you're driving. Um, and so for that reason, you know, you're going to have to figure out, you know, can you live without those things? Can you live without going to big concerts? And are you okay with driving that far? So I think that's probably the second biggest con for most people. All right, number three is going to be the fact that Idaho Falls closes pretty much right after 8 o'clock. There is not a lot to do after 8 o'clock. Most restaurants will close between 8 or 9 o'clock. Um, grocery stores close around 11 o'clock. But for the most part, if you're looking for a nightlife, there's not a lot of that out here. Now, there will be some bars open. We've had clubs come in and out of Idaho Falls. And so for the most part, if you're looking for something to do, like go drive balls at a driving range in the middle of the night, like some places have, um, you know, you're not going to have that here. So I would say to make sure that you are aware. So one of the next biggest cons, I think number four for most people, is the fact that it's rural. Um, People have a hard time having to drive everywhere they want to go. Um, you know, when it comes to going from here to Pocatello, it's an hour away. Um, if you want to go down to Blackfoot, it's 25 minutes away. In general, everything is kind of spread out and you have to drive to get anywhere. But, you know, that's also sometimes a pro for some people. But, um, you know, people that are wanting to live closer to amenities, you know, you're going to have to drive 5, 10, 20 minutes just to get to anywhere because everything is so spread out. And, and so that's something that not everyone likes, you know, naturally I feel like is a con for a lot of people, but, uh, you know, take and pick whatever you feel like is more comfortable for you. All right, so number five is going to be definitely the fact that we have a really small airport out here. Um, Idaho Falls uh, is not an international airport. You have to go and travel to Salt Lake City or Boise or Denver from here. And, uh, I mean, we do have a lot more flights that are coming in that are one way. Uh, say from here to Orange County, um, but for the fact that we don't have a real huge airport, um, it's kind of a detractor for some people who like to travel for business. So if you're looking to do that, you're going to have to figure out some different arrangement or accept that you might be paying more to go through Idaho Falls Airport. So now that you know the biggest pros and cons of living in Idaho Falls, hopefully this is helpful for you. Hopefully this gives you some uh, peace of mind as you know what to expect when moving out here because Honestly, I don't like sugarcoating things, and you know, if you're looking to move immediately or repeatedly in this area, uh, give me a call. I'd love to chat with you, I'll help you, you know, with your real estate goals, and be able to help you understand what you might be missing, um, you know, what it's going to take for you. Uh, and actually, I'm not going to be living with you, so uh, <laughs> you got to make your own decisions. I can't make them for you, but uh, naturally, I can tell you what the biggest areas to look for, and so you're familiar with the area before you come out here. Um, if you'd like to get a hold of me, my uh, number, you can text or call me in the description. I also have an email in there. Give me a, a ring and let me know what you're looking for. If you have any additional questions that maybe something I didn't answer, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. Um, so please comment below and let me know what you'd like to see or know more about. And we'll talk to you soon. See you in Idaho Falls.